All right, for this um, tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a teleporter in your scene. First thing we want to do is I like to know where the teleporter is in my scene, so I'm just going to grab a, um, I'm basically just going to grab a cube and kind of throw it out to wherever my teleporter is. How about if I start it down in here? And uh, let's go focus on that, press F. And uh, then what I'll do is I'm going to take it and flatten it. So I'll just make it like 0.1 on the scale here, 0.1. And then I'll pull it up and pressing end key to drop it down. And then I need a trigger volume, something to trigger the actual um, the event that's going to happen. So I go into volumes down here to trigger volume and I'll drag that out and uh, notice the trigger volume is actually quite large so I'm going to change the X, Y, and Z settings for that and make them 100 each for that and uh, drag those down and I can actually press end for that as well and then bring it over and kind of center that on there alright so this is going to be where I'm going to teleport from right here and uh, let's also set up where we want to teleport to. I'd like to teleport onto this um, box right over here. So I can actually set up either coordinates, X, Y, and Z coordinates, and try and figure out what the coordinates of that box are, which are right here. But something that's probably better to do is actually to have an object that is going to be unseen in the and unseen in my level, um, but it has coordinates. That way I can move it around a bit. So I'm going over into the basic uh, category here, and I'm going to drag out an empty actor, and I'll place it right there. And we're actually going to use the location coordinates of this empty actor for teleporting to. All right, so we'll start with that. Let's go back and select the trigger volume. And uh, now I'm going to open up a blueprint, but I'm going to open up, there's two kinds, a blueprint class and a level blueprint. I'm going to open up the level blueprint open that up and I'm gonna take the tab and snap it up top there and uh, with my uh, trigger volume still selected I'm going to right click to create a new node for it and uh, then uh, where it says add event for trigger volume one I will click the arrow and then we have collision game and input I'm going to click the arrow next to collision and the first one here add on actor begin overlap I'm going to choose that one and it brings an event up and it's connected to the trigger volume right there. And then I have to think about what is it I would like to do. I would like to teleport. So this executable, I will click and drag off of the executable and type in the word teleport. And there it is, so I'll just press enter. And there's my teleport um, right there. And then, um, so here's this location. And like I said earlier, I could type in the actual coordinates, the X, Y, and Z coordinates, but an easier, what I think better thing to do is, is to have an object that's going to have the coordinates in there. So let's go back and select that object, that empty actor. I'll go back into my level blueprint and just right click here and it says create a reference to the actor. So I'll do that. But if you notice the blue channel coming out of that um, reference is not going to connect up to the yellow channel of my destination location here. So I've got to put something else in between there. So I will drag off of the blue channel of my actor and the thing I would like to do is I would like to get actor location. And so there it is. It comes up again and it comes up and now I've got a yellow output so I will connect that to the yellow output there. It's looking good so far, but you know what? We have not told it what is going to teleport. There's no nothing here in the actor, and so uh, you know what I'd like to teleport is just my my player character. So this time I'll say get player character, and I will throw that in here. And so this is how I have it all connected. Let's uh, click and drag over it and comment it. And we'll call this. Uh, teleporter um, by stairs. How about that? And then make sure you compile and go in and check it. Let's play and uh, I'm just gonna go over there and boom. Now I'm standing on top of it. 
And that's how you set up a quick and easy teleporter.